Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Bug Fables. Last episode, I ended up getting rank 27, which is apparently the maximum rank. And I don't think I've played other kind of like RPG style games like this, where there was a maximum level that you could get naturally during the course of playing through the game. I don't think I kind of like overgrinded in this game uh, to get here, but nevertheless, here I am. And it didn't really kind of occur to me, kind of the complete change in the meta <laughs> um, in terms of overall strategy. Like, there's no point to fighting enemies. Like, I guess I could get money, um, but I don't need money. I have tons of money in the bank. Um, and so I should treat this, like, entirely as stealth at this point and just try to avoid battles as much as possible. Um, I've changed up my medals so that they're in kind of as defensive of a posture as they could be. And, uh, yeah, so now I just want to try to get through this place, I think. And so I think if I can just, uh, fly away from here, I'll be okay. And then in terms of this eye, I forget... Can... Oops! Okay, that doesn't work, definitely. Oops! Well... <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. Alright, did it again. I'm trying to get V flying. Yeah, okay. I have quick flee on. Um, I've got first plating on. I switched up my medals. Um, but yeah, I definitely I just want to flee. There's no point in fighting this battle. And I don't care about the money I'm losing. And so long as I can get away from you. Yeah, I think I'm okay. So just ignore the scary music. And okay, you're gonna drop another thing on me again. I'm in midair. <laughs> Getting into battle. Alright. Don't care about the berries I'm losing. And yeah, it seems like that's fine. Okay, so over here... So I need to tr treat this as like a stealth and platforming puzzle section. So over here, yeah, 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 don't see me. I need to, there's a hand covering the thing that I need, and so I need to move this thing down, because then the hand comes over and decides to try to grab it, which it's doing right now. And that opens up the, uh, this thing for me to jump on. And now we're just going to try to get as far as possible avoiding all the battles. Because uh, that, I'm pretty sure, is the correct thing to do. And it would be nice to find the items, but I don't even know that the items are going to be necessary. I guess I'm going to need that to climb up the change. I kind of forgot. I put this game aside for a few days since the last time I recorded it. But I guess I need, in order to climb up something over here, I'm going to need a frozen, frozen block. So let's go grab that. Um... Yeah, and I think there is still, like, another zone that I'm going to get to with different enemies that might be more fightable than the enemies here in the Deadlands. So I think there will be more to do past this stealth location. I don't really remember the details, but I just remember there being more. Um, let's see. Other things to talk about in terms of the big picture? I don't know that there are, really. I think I can hide here and still be stealthed. Uh, effectively, yes. Alright, yeah, you go look over there. I'm not sure exactly what I'm using this to climb up upon, but maybe if I'm here... Can V fly on top of this? No. Alright, but I can at least hide. So I guess I want to put this somewhere else. So if I put it over here. Can V fly on top of the coins? Yes. Can she now fly on top of the other coins? Yes. Okay. So I've made it into a new section. Cool. Uh, more bad guys to just avoid. Uh, there's another one of those mystery berries, which also, that's the other thing you could get from fighting enemies, is you could potentially get more dropped items like the crazy mystery berry, but... Uh, oh, crap, where am I? Is he gonna see me? No. 
Is there a way to get up here? Yes. Okay. Don't shoot me. I'm just running through. Oh gosh, there's another eyeball. Don't see me. <laughs> okay. Just going across the floor of this crazy building. Looks like I can do this, maybe? I'm gonna get noticed. But we'll just do the usual thing, which is to flee. All right, with quick flee on, that's much easier. <laughs> Fell in a hole, but eh, who cares? Okay, so eyeball. Uh, you're still looking right where I want to go. There we go. I want to go over here. And then I guess I want to go over here. And then I guess I want to go over here. Is that a new metal? I think it might be. Uh, sadly, I fell in the hole. Darn. <laughs> Alright, I'm still not great. Ouch. At platforming in this game. Alright, but I feel comfortable fleeing. All right, and fleeing in midair is actually not bad because it means the uh, scary music and that one bad guy go away. Oh, really? You saw me from there? I wonder if I can flee from him here when I'm standing and then immediately fly away. Don't care about the berries. Yes, I can. Cool. All right, he can't chase me over here. So this probably gives me enough time to fly over here? Yeah. Okay, so what do we get? Status mirror metal. If the equipped bug gets a status effect, the caster gets that effect as well. So I guess that's like if um, somebody poisons me, I poison them back, is my understanding of what's happening there. Um, that's great and all. What am I looking at over here on the right? Looks like it might be like a doll or a teddy bear or something. I think there must be a different way to go. Is there somewhere in the back? I can't quite see it from here. It's gotta be somewhere though. All right, let's try this. Yes. Nice, okay. I did something good there actually. Is it possible to go back here? Nope. Oh, where's it gonna drop me though? All right, back here is not awful. Um, what is the correct thing to do right now? I don't know. Oops, I think I might be too low. Yeah, darn it. It takes a few seconds after you, well, not a few seconds, but like a full second after you press the button for V to start flying. And so it's easy to move before she starts flying. In which case, you end up not high enough and you fall off the ledge. So this platforming is quite surprisingly tricky. I'm not even sure I'm going the right way over here, though. Nah, darn it. We're just gonna fall in the pit again, aren't we? Yeah, fell in the pit again. Okay, where am I supposed to go from here? Like, is it possible to get up on top of this book by any chance? Or behind the book? Also, there's a red crystal back there. Do you see that? I didn't notice that before. It's not blue. It's not yellow. There must be like a switch to hit something that's gonna create another platform in here or something along those lines, I think. So maybe I should be looking for that. Also, just occurred to me, it's probably easier to go from here to here. Okay, and now I'm on this thing, so I can just flee from you. Okay, so if I move to this thing in the back, I'm kind of safe here for a moment. So there is a truck over there. Oh, there's definitely a mushroom over to the right. I see it. Oh! It's a bring me back mushroom, though. That's not what I want. Oh, here's the switch, though. Ah! Found it. Um, stay up here. Can I walk on top of this and then get up here? Yes. Okay, what does this do? 
I heard it move something. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. I finally found a thing. Okay, so the mushroom is my way back. And this is my way forward. Okay, that took longer than I would have liked, but we got there. Oh gosh, it's a crazy thingy. Um, I wish to not fight you. Great. I do want to hit the red crystal because my guess is it's going to be like a save without any kind of other benefits or something. Well, uh, let's just flee again. Great. How do I get up on top of the red crystal? That in itself may be a puzzle. Can I climb on top of the marker? No. Can I jump it from over here? No, there's some invisible walls or something that I can't figure out what's going on there. Okay, I'm not certain how I hit that save crystal, assuming that's even what it- Oh, I use this, of course. Alright, the camera's doing some weird stuff over here. I'm not certain why. But it can do what it does. Alright, I want Kabu. And I want to use this. Alright, yeah, the camera. I'm not sure why the camera is behaving the way it is. Alright, this guy's gonna see me again. This is an easier set of dudes. I could try to fight them. Um. No, there's still no point. Actually, there is one point, which is to make it easier to complete the platforming section if I don't have this obnoxious guy chasing me the whole time. So maybe I will. Okay, let's try it for one round then. So, in that case... I don't remember exactly how I'm built. So let's do a hurricane toss and see how much damage that deals. Uh, the answer is a lot. Um... Let's see, if you were to ice fall. Oh, um, right. I was thinking ice rain instead of ice fall. <laughs> um, let's have you turn relay back to V. And V, if you just hit the guy in the front, is there any chance that you kill him off? Yes, nice. And then you still have another attack. Uh, let's try a Frigid Coffin, just in case I can put this guy in ice. It did not. Alright, Chompy, go get him. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. And V has first plating, and so I didn't even bother blocking, because that means that she will be protected from the first attack. Alright, so let's get this guy back up. Let's do Hurricane Toss. And then we'll just do some basic attacks, and eventually this guy will go down. And I'm not worried about a single guy taking out the party. Thanks for the defense up. That could be helpful. Ouch. Alright, didn't manage to block that at all. And once again, you need to get him out. And then V won't hit enough on her own, but then if I turn Relay uh, back to V, she'll be able to finish it off. So let's do that. Okay. Alright, so with that enemy out of the way, now I should be able to... Oh, look how many berries I get back. Make my way up here. Oh! No, really? Can I hit it from here? No. All right. Ah, uh, I find so much of the platforming in this game so frustrating. Okay. So we make a new copy of the ice. We knock it up here, very carefully, into a spot where I can hit this. Oh. It's not a save, but it's a full heal. That's not what I expected that to be. Alright, still just want to flee. Nothing has changed here. 
Okay. And now just run. Okay, so I got a full heal. Is there a way to go this way? No. Is there a way to go this way? It looks like there is. Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, and here's an actual save save. Thank goodness. Okay, progress. <laughs> Great. Um, let's assume we want V in the front. Oh, cutscene. Oh, it's the rest of everybody. This place is absolutely dreadful. I've sung I've sung in worn down pubs fancier than this. These Deadlanders aren't anything to mess with either. I pray we won't run into too many of them climbing this behemoth. It seems to be a machine. The giants handle power at such a large scale. And it's a bit chilly near it. it. Reminds us of the Lost Sands Castle. Whatever. It can be as tall and cold as it wants. We're gonna climb it. Such a simple mind. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Let's go in then. Wait. What is it? We've been surrounded. Uh-oh. What have we been to More Deadlanders? What the heck? When? We should fall back. There's no way out. They've completely pincered us. We have to fight as one. I'll assist thee. Okay. So we have... Oh boy. Um, the guy in the back is the really scary one, but I think I should take out the front guys soon. Um, we do have Maki in the party, which will be great. So we'll be able to finish off. I think he goes after the first guy and always hits for five or six or something, if I remember correctly. Um, so I think... Let's start with the Hurricane Toss. And then I guess let's have you dash through, because that'll at least hit a few guys. Yeah, it didn't hit for very much, though. Uh, leaf. I guess you could either Ice Fall or Ice Rain. Uh, let's try an Ice Rain. Trying to see if I can hit two guys at a time. Uh, Leaf has another turn. Let's turn Relay back to V. And V is going to be sweating and tired and so do less damage. So I think I'll just have V attack this and then Maki should be able to take it out. So Maki always hits for six. Okay, and cuts through defense. Alright, first plating. Took one of those damages, at least. Not sure if I blocked incorrect time there. Uh, but whatever. So it's Hurricane Toss. And I think Maki would be able to jump up and hit that guy. And so I think what I want to do is... Turn Relay... Oops. Turn Relay to V. And just do another Hurricane Toss on this guy. Oh, this isn't going to do much, though, because he has more defense. I forgot. And then... I'm going to turn Relay to V. Yeah, let's just make sure she takes out this guy. Oh, no. Chompy, can you hit that guy? No. Darn. So Maki's going to waste a turn, basically. I didn't get this guy all the way down. Okay, so I misplayed that. V's going down, so that's expected. I can just pep talk her back. Yeah, I'm running low on... Oh, I forgot that I had Royal Decree. Oops. The Queen said she would assist me, and I forgot. Um, But yeah, let's pep talk V back. And then... Well, I don't have enough TP now to do things. So in that case, let's use an item that gives me back some TP. Should I use my Berry Smoothie and get it all back? Um... What else gets stuff back? Yeah, let's use the Berry Smoothie. So we get all our TP back. Great. And so now... I guess Hurricane Doss will do some damage. 
So let's do this to start wearing this guy down. Uh, Chompy's not going to be able to do anything right now. Maki will do six. Alright. And if he just keeps going down, that's kind of fine, honestly. Because uh, I can just pep talk her back. And then have her do another hurricane toss. Oh yeah, this guy's dead. Uh, you might even be able to finish him off even with this defense, I can't remember. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so we dealt with a big group. Good thing the others stayed back. That was close. Not at all. Everyone, you did splendidly. The coast is clear. You were with us. Let's press forward. We need to find a way to get the others fortunate to have health. Deadlanders must be slowly slowing the Wasp King down as well. Let's catch up. Right. Try and catch up to the Wasp King. Okay. So. Let's save after that progress. Um, there we go. Don't know why that was so difficult. Is there any chance that it healed me back up? It did! Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, it makes my use of the, what do you call, a little bit of a waste. But what you gonna do? So there's a doorway over there. Oh! We can talk to, uh, Zas and Mothaba. Zas, go my fluff. I must look dashing when we take down that tyrant. Are you, uh, nervous? No, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It will. I promise. We'll protect you. We don't need it. Seriously. We're gonna do it anyways. Alright. Interesting. Ooh! There's electricity. There's a plug. Plugged into something over there, maybe? Not sure what's happening there. Even though it's super old, that machine's still working. The giant's made pretty sturdy stuff. No, oh, I just talked to you. Ma ma ma, yeah. Such a massive machine for us. The legends say the giants were huge, so these machines must have been normal size for them. Handling such great power, how could they have vanished? And with the state that this place is, how could it happen in such a terrible way? I don't know if my uh, Mikey's picking up. There's some sirens going by. It's like, I don't know, like a fire truck or something. We must press on. We cannot let the Wasp King get to the sapling before us. Climbing that thing will be a monumental task, however. Kabu was complaining a little bit about climbing when we were in the sand castle. Um, okay, so I did not realize there were people here originally to talk to, so I'm going to save after having those conversations, although I don't think any of them... I think that was all just kind of like flavor text and didn't really advance the story at all. So if we go in here... I see! Tomato can, cold, plugged in. It's like the refrigerator. Okay, seems like we're gonna need leaf here to freeze these things eventually. Although, can V just fly around? Hmm, what's the right way to go here? Also, can I freeze you and stand on you? Um, I'm not really interested in fighting you. So let's just flee. Had to think about my buttons. Oh, I did manage, okay. And then from here, can V fly up here? No. So, all right. Oh, this is just like icy stuff though. So I can just stand on this. So I'm trying to get up there because I can see that there's a little mushroom springy thing over there. And so the question is how to get up to the first step, which I guess involves probably bringing this, oh, I can't bring this ice to enemy different places though. And I can't just jump up here. So I guess I need to bring him somewhere. I've got the uh, long ice cube thing that Leaf has on. Eh, it doesn't go this way, though. Just to make sure he stays frozen. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So if I freeze this near the low, low point. Oh, also I didn't notice that there's a, a drop thing here. Well, this might change my strategy. Because now I might just be able to jump and fly from here to here. And then if I freeze this one up a bit higher, I might be able to just jump up up there.
Mm, that one was a little bit too high. Oh, no, I made it. And then I fell. Ice is very slippery. Just like real life. This game is so realistic. Okay, so I made it here. And so now, can I make it up here? No. I might have been able to make it on top of the tomato can, though, which is slightly lower. And then I'd be able to make it up there. I think there is the sound of a secret in this room, which makes me think it's at the right side of the screen, rather than where I'm headed. But I'm gonna head this way anyway. All right, milk. All right, so we're in the still working refrigerator of the giant slayer. This looks like a block pushing puzzle kind of layout, maybe. Looks like there might be a mushroom on top of that pop can that I have to jump up, so perhaps I need to freeze this in order to jump up here. And let's get V in the front so we can do some flying when we need to. Let's see, from here, since this exists, it makes me think I want to come over here for reasons. I don't know what those reasons are just yet. Okay. Oh, did I have to knock that big block off? I bet you I did. I think I see what's happening here now. So I bet you this ice cube can be pushed by Kabu. Yeah. So... And can this one be pushed by Kabu as well? Let me get around to the front of it. No, this one's not pushable. How about... I think this is like a can. So I don't think that's pushable. But now if I did this, and I had V flying, and I walked over here, I think I can jump on top of that. Now pushed ice cube, but only if I actually succeed at the platforming. Okay, so walk very carefully. I'm using a D-pad, so I can't really go at the 30 degree angle. That might be the most helpful. Okay, so I can land here. Then I can land here. And then what? Can I get all the way over on top of that can? And also the way the icicles are hanging down, I bet you those are obstacles, so I think I have to like fly around them. Uh, that way does not work. And just to double check, I can't just fly up here from here, right? Right. Do I have to push? So maybe... Okay, ideas. Maybe... I need this here. And then push this against it and push it to the right. Uh, I didn't manage to push that where I wanted it to go, though. So I think I might have to be up top now. In order to... Push this back in the direction I want it to go. So if I push this here... Push this, like, here. And then push this forward. It does go against that. Now if I push it this way... Yes, that might be too far. I wonder, actually... I might be making this more... I'm probably making this more complicated than it needs to be. But I wonder, since we have this cube, which I can kind of put wherever I want, I wonder if it makes sense to put it... Oh, come on. To put it over here. Around there. And then push this thing to the right. So that it stops there. I think it would actually want to go even farther to the right. And for whatever reason, like I'm pressing the button and Kabu is not attacking this little ice cube. Let's try there, maybe. Okay, and then if I refreeze the drop of water, 
I think that little ice cube will disappear and reappear over here so I can get it back over here. And so is it possible for V to make the jump all the way from the tomato can over to the big block of ice? I guess we're about to find out. And I say the jump, but I mean the fly. So we fly up here. We walk down this way. We jump up here. And then we fly all the way over here. We did it. Okay. And so now... Eh, maybe I did want that all the way to the right. I guess we're about to find out. No, I can do that here. Okay. Okay. I did a thing. Got it. Okay. We're on the next floor. Um, don't care to deal with you, really. Unless it's to freeze you. Yeah, let's freeze you. Alright. And so in here... Can't tell... Exactly how and what we want to do. These things don't have seem to have extremely variable heights. And I'm unclear what the path up is going to be. So from here, can I jump up here and here? Yes. This might already be enough to get up to that guy. I guess it'll be easier if I freeze this at the top. So if I wait for you to go up high... Then I think I can get up there, and let's go ahead and freeze this thing somewhere, just in case I need it. Okay, so I guess inside the refrigerator, frozen stuff stays frozen for much longer. Which makes sense. Alright, can I jump up here? No, but I can get in a fight. <laughs> Uh, alright, no reason to fight. Okay, so right at the edge he can see me. So then in that case... I guess I could have that thing frozen, but how would I get up there? How would I do the things? What if I come over here? Well, I can't jump up to where that guy is, even though he can try to attack me. Is there another one of these things that I should be trying to get up on? I guess maybe if I freeze these at their tallest heights. That seems to be as high as that one goes. That seems to be as high as that one goes. Like, none of them are very high. I still can't get on this. Let me try unfreezing this one and just see if it freezes higher. That appears to be its peak. Okay. So from here... I can get directly on here. Okay. So I think that's what I was supposed to do. Really? That short? I might have hit the button at the wrong time. So yeah, I've said it a number of times before. Platforming in this game is kind of one of my chief criticisms of it. It's also fidgety. Like, I'm not sure if I... Oh, can I push these things around too? Hold on. Didn't occur to me. Okay. I'm going to take back my criticism for the moment because this is clearly what I should have been doing earlier. So if I have that there, and similarly I could have this... I see, and it goes just right through those things. Okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I want all of the things, but I think this is probably sufficient to do what I want. Okay. I thought it was the platforming being fidgety, but it was me not seeing the space of possible things to do. Okay, I probably didn't freeze this one all the way at the top. So let's freeze it all the way at the top. 
And then I should be able to jump from here to here and actually get up there. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna flee from you again. As I do. And then I'm just gonna run away. Oh wait, no, okay. Whew. Can I not get on the soda can from here? No, I can. All right, so it is still a little bit, little bit fidgety. And then there was something else here that I can stand on top of. And then presumably there's a reason I want to be here? Question mark. Ride the lift? Yes, it's a lift. It is rideable. Oh gosh, now we're like back out into the house again? All right, I presume there's like a roach statue holding a paintbrush. I presume this brings me back up. So it is two-way traversable. All right. And there's another save crystal. I love that. And the folks have chased me around. Okay. This is a village? Halt or be impaled. <gasps> Roaches! <laughs> we thought that they'd gone extinct or something. No way. So some didn't vanish after all. You did halt. You may be just, or simply cowards. They're surprised that we can speak, because they're used to the Deadlanders. Please, allow us to explain the situation. We're short on time. Nothing to explain. Everyone's after the sapling today. The sapling? Is it real, then? Silence, you've spoken too much. Sorry, Elder. You come with that crook? No, please, in the name of my people, allow me to explain. So I guess the wasp already came through here? I see. Do you think that after uneventful generations guarding the sapling, so many would come for it in just one day? That wasp king you're talking about snuck past us while we dealt with his troops. He used them like pawns, not caring about their lives at all. Disgusting. How can he treat his loyal followers like this? Huh, you do have a heart. Please, allow us to go after him. And what will that do? And what will you do when you get the sapling from him? What are you planning to do with our sacred treasure? I had a dream to use its power to fulfill my wishes. But the lust for that power has brought only turmoil to Bulgaria. I will destroy it. Exclamation points. But what about your mother? She entrusted her dream to me, and I fulfilled it. The land teemed with explorers searching for the ultimate treasure. She'd be proud of me. She deserves to rest. How dare you spin your words as noble. The sapling is sacred. Elder, if they destroy it, what will be of us? Our life's purpose. That crook may be bad, but he wouldn't desecrate our treasure like you. Humph. You heard the Elder. She never changes her mind. You won't pass. We'll just have to knock Novi. This is not the way to solve this. They're blinded by their devotion. Understandable. Elizant, our queen, will support you. We must plead our case once more. The others and I will make ourselves cozy for now. Okay, so we've reached the Roach Village. Can I talk to individual roaches? You, blue guy, I can feel you swimming in roach magic. Where'd you get that? Alright. He can sense Leaf's magic. Got a little six-sided die. Some other nondescript entities. You're lucky I didn't let out my prized scorpion after you. That's okay, got it. So they keep the scorpions as pets. Or... Scorpions are dangerous? Please, compared to the Deadlanders, they're the tamest of the tame. Here's, uh, Celia. And Levi. Alright. So more random talking. Let's take advantage. Oh, I can even get, uh, items out of the, um, ant storage. I see the storage ant over here. What's up here? Uh, more people to talk to. Ah, that's one of the roach defenders who got hit by the Wasp King's fire magic, I guess? I'm ready to fight alongside Maki. I see, and this is the queen trying to talk to the elder. That seems like the thing that will advance the plot once again. So I don't want to do that right now. Do you need to rest? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Cool. All right, so there's basically an inn here as well. I don't remember if I was down on resources, but now I'm not. 
All right, so I'll remember to save again after that. Oh, there's even a shop where you can buy some basic supplies. Neat. We won't let you pass through. All right, so we can't go through there. Whatever's over there, I guess the sapling. And the wasp king has made it through there. Oh, uh, no, I do not want to go back to the ancient entrance. Got it, but apparently there's a lift that would take us back, okay. All right. Um, yeah, more people who are downed by the king's fire magic, which the wasp queen gave me something to defend ourselves against it. All right. Okay, well, we made some more progress. It's really weird, like, in the first, I don't know, three or four chapters, the story was pretty straightforward, and then I feel like it's kind of gone a little bit spiraling out of control here towards the end. Um, but it's still pretty much consistent. We're going after the sapling. The roaches have been here guarding it all this time. The wasp king has already made it past them and apparently possibly reached the sapling which is supposed to grant like eternal life or everlasting power or something. And meanwhile, the ant queen is trying to plead with the roach elder to let us pass so that we can stop the lost king. So that's what we can look forward to next time. I will say that I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more bug fables. For now, bye-bye.